What's going on, y'all? Jimmy Macklem here. We're up to season three, episode two of The Walking Dead. Now, last we saw, Hershey got fucked up. Um, he got bit by a walker on his leg. Uh, team saved him, and Rick cut his leg off quick, fast, in a hurry. I assume that's going to work, otherwise Rick wouldn't do it. Um, well, there was no hesitation, just cut, let's go. I'm a big fan of new Rick, by the way. Apparently there's six prisoners, alive, just chilling, inside the prison. Just hanging. Alright, let's get to it. We're using that field for crops. Well, if you move your gear out, that won't be necessary. We took out these walkers, this prison is ours. Slow down, cowboy. You snatched the locks off our doors. We'll give you new locks if that's how you want it. This is our prison. We were here first. Locked in the broom closet. There are other cell blocks. You could leave. Try to look out on the road. Rick's got ice water in his veins, man. He don't feel nervous Stop ever. You got more food than you've got choice, you bitch. We done jerking each other off. Stick a wing back here. He gonna have to die. bad mother. She's feeling guilty for herself. Wife? Yeah, definitely questionable. But mom? I thought she was alright. How old is Beth? I'm starting to get the feeling that her and the little creep um, are attracted to one another and that's creepy. What the fuck? I feel bad. Oh, 
Maar Absolutely. Baby steps, Lori. Baby steps. Solid episode. Um, 
Don't think it was quite as good as the first one, but it was good enough. Rick has, we can say evolved, we can say changed, we can say adapted, we can say has learned to accept the world for the way it is. A whole bunch of different words we can use, but um, it's rough. It's a little rough to watch, I have to be honest. Um, though it, it, it's jarring. I would say it's rough, it's jarring. For you guys, it was like watching like boiling water. You like slowly see it, it's getting more and more and more. For me, it was like watching one of those time lapses where it starts in the morning and then like they show you like a sunset really fast. That's what it's like for me. I seen Rick and then just watching. Zero to a hundred real quick. Quick. Whole squad on that real shit. He absolutely made the right call when it came to killing the prisoners. Um, at least the leader and uh, the other dude. And he should have killed the big one, but the leader took care of that. He gave him twice. He swung that knife, that sword, sort of, that blade. And he almost caught him and he said, hey, he was a little close to him, motherfucker. Then he threw a zombie on him. He was like, oh, this nigga gotta go. He tried to murder me. And then another brother ran. That means guilt. Is that girl a pedophile? How old is she? Uh, Beth. Because I think she likes the kid. And it feels creepy to me, and maybe it shouldn't. Maybe I missed reading ages there, but it feels creepy. So now the team's got food, they've got um, shelter, they've got some safety. This is probably not going to last long. Mainly because somebody's watching Carol in the woods. What the fuck? And I really want Laurie and Rick to come to some kind of an understanding. Um... Because they're in the part of the marriage or relationship where the two of you um, have been together so long, but it doesn't work anymore. But you're not the one you have the guts to leave. So you kind of just ride it out for a couple more years before you guys snap at each other. Speaking from experience. Now, the only problem with this is there is no leaving part. So, zombie apocalypse. So the two of you need to figure something out. Can't just be staring each other down, snatching your hand away. The hell do you want? Can't be doing shit like that, especially with the kid talking crazy to his mother. I don't care what you think about Laurie. You don't talk to your mama that way. She should tell Rick and then Rick should haul off and punch him in the mouth. Right, he should have punched him in the mouth, but he should definitely threaten to punch him in the mouth. I've always said uh, violence might not work all the time, but legitimate fear of violence that seems like it could actually come works all the time. All the time. Wait, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.